Kamis. Okay ba? Bula lang to. Asal kan adalah... Uh, siapa? Anaki ada? Tidak ka anaki. Okay, kalau siapa sudah? F19 ka? Erwin ada ka Erwin? Siapa sudah Erwin tu? Hello, kamu boleh dengar Miss ka? Boleh Miss. Boleh Miss. Kenapa tidak ada Erwin? Kenapa Erwin? Erwin ketandas kali Miss. Ada ka dia di dalam Google Meet kita? Ada, ada, ada. Oh ada, okay. Dia tidur kali tu, bukan dia petandas tu. Ya, tahu lah, Miss. Ba, satu minit lagi. Uh, miss, mm. untuk IPS nanti berapa soalan tuh? Dia ada 40 soalan. 40 soalan kah? Ke Japanese check. Saya pun lupa. Oke. Okay. IPS, dia chapter 1 until 4 lah. Lapan hari bulan sembilan dari jam dua sepuluh petang sampai dua lima puluh. Oh, empat puluh minit, dua puluh soalan. Okey kah? Okey miss, okey. Dia MCQ ataupun subjektif miss? Oh, MCQ, MCQ. Okey, thank you. Dia tidak calculation, dia teori saja. Ada soalan okay. bocor gak, Miss? Kalau ada pun konfirmasi bagi kau. Akhir simpan tuh, Miss. Jangan Akhir konfirmasi lah itu. dengan yang lain kalau ada. Boleh, boleh, boleh. Sama-sama, Kit. Oke, oke. Buat cepat, buatlah dulu kita. Oke, okay, soalan satu. Apa soalan satu dia? Kamu ada soalan kan? Miss Teda nih di dalam. Ada, Miss. Oke, okay, apa soalan dia? <laughs> Kejap lah, Miss. Buka lah. Ayah. Miss chapter four. Oke, okay. soalan satu. Oke, okay, soalan satu dia suruh kita cari tension untuk row P and Q. Sorry lah, Miss tertinggal. Dia punya P and Q tuh. So, siapa tuh yang mau join? Oke, okay, let us draw. So, first kita ada this block. Lepas itu dia ada wire, wire. Wire. Okay, so P and Q is basically this row P, Q. Okay, so kamu boleh jalan letak ini P, yang ini pula Q. Okay, okay. Sekarang kita draw the free body diagram. So let's us draw the axis dulu lah. 
So kita ada y x exists. Terus tu, this is our body. Okay, now we can draw the forces. Apa forces yang ada? We have five types of forces. The first one is weight, tension, external force. They are either push or pull, frictional force, and then lastly is tension. Ka ulang ulang kato tidak kan? Okay, so this one obviously it has weight. So kita letak arrow turun ke bawah. Ada masalah kalau kis free body diagram? Tidak miss. Tidak miss. Ya, kalau ada problem laju-laju lah. PM miss. Miss reply juga tu. Lepas tu kita ada tension untuk Q. Rope Q. Lepas tu dia ada untuk yang P. Okay, so ini sejak. This is the only forces that is being experienced by the block. Okay. So this is their punya weight. I usually write mg. Kamu boleh juga tulis W, tapi I feel like it's easier if you directly write it as mg lah. So this one pula is tension Q, this is tension P. And then yang based on the diagram, di sini tu 65 degree kan? So kita boleh lah letak 65 degree is this area. Faham kan kenapa angle dia di sini instead of di tempat lain. So, 65 degree di sini. Okay, ada problem? Boleh faham yang ini? Boleh, Miss. Boleh, Miss. Boleh, Miss. Yang lain yang malu-malu bercakap tu uh, boleh soalan, tulis miss. di chat. Boleh tulis di chat, ah? Uh, miss, saya ada soalan, Miss. Yeah. Okay. Um, kan dia bilang sketch a free body diagram at point Q. So, maksudnya um, kalau dia bilang at point P pun sama juga jawapan dia lah. Uh, Yo, yeah, kan dia tulis at point Q. Ya. Yeah. Jap, so, miss check. Ni soalan um, PSPM ni. Okay, Ini miss. Salah tulis. Oh, oh, at point Z. Oh, batu. Miss yang salah tulis. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, bro. Eh, sorry. Siapa, miss? Okay, so dia suruh lukis free body diagram untuk to block lah maksud dia kiranya. Okay, so now kita teruskan. I like to use pink. Boleh nampak bahkan kalau pink? Nampak tu ni. Boleh. Boleh. Okay, lepas tu kita cari tension. Okay, now we find tension. So sekarang ni kan kita belajar chapter 4. So we always have to see it through yang macam 3 Newton's law of motion tu. So we have the first law of motion which is related to inertia where the total force is equal to zero which mean it is in equilibrium. Okay so sekarang ni tali ni dia tidak move. So what we can say is we can uh, let the total force to be equal to zero. Sebab sekarang ni dorang dalam equilibrium. Okay, so kita letaklah total force. Kita buatlah dulu untuk X component. So, total force at X is equal to zero. Okay, so after that, kita boleh buat, I mean, write sajalah. So, TQ minus PP cos 65 degree. So, dia minus sebab dia pergi left side. Okay, kalau dia pergi right side, dia sentiasa akan positif. Okay, tapi sekarang sekarang ironi berada di negative x axis. Okay, so this is all the x component. So we let it equal to zero. Okay, so kita boleh simplify it supaya TQ jadi subject. So TP cos 65 degree. So this is our first equation. Okay. So sekarang ni since kita ada two unknowns, usually we need two equations. Okay. So kita perlu tengok jugalah untuk 
y component. So, total force at y is also equal to 0. Sebab dorang sekarang in equilibrium. Okay, so sekarang kita perlu resolve dia pergi di y axis ni. Okay, so we have to make all the arrows to be on this axis. Okay, so how do we do that? We have to resolve TP to the y axis. So TP sine 65 degree minus mg. So this is equal to 0. Okay, so kita boleh simplify ni. Kita terus boleh calculate tension untuk rho P. Sebab semua data, semua information uh, available lah. Which is the mass gravity. So mass dia is 15 kilogram. 9.81 divided by sine 65 degree. Okay. So berapa jawapan dia ni? Sepertutnya dapat 100. 162.36 Newton. Ada yang dapatkah jawapan untuk quiz uh, pasal yang ini? Miss, kalau Ada saya yang... tulis yeah. 162.4 jawab dapatkah Miss? Saya nak tulis 20-an. Berapa 162.4? 162.4. Oh boleh, boleh. Tidak masalah. Okay. okay lagi? Siapa lagi ada soalan? Okay, bahkan. So, lepas tu kita bolehlah cari TQ substitute TP into 1. So, TQ is equal to TP cos 65 degree. So, TP is 162.36 cos 65 degree. So, you should be getting the tension to be equal to 68.62 Newton. At least three significant figures lah kamu punya final answer. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is four significant figures. Kamu boleh stop until this part pun, okay, 68.6. Tidak masalah. Okay. Boleh, question one. Boleh, miss. Boleh, miss. Boleh, miss. Semua quiz miss ni, soalan PSPM ni. Kalau kamu dapat jawab, maksudnya kamu boleh score sudah tu. Okay. Confident kan? Boleh ni, boleh. Okay, boleh teruskan question 2? Boleh, boleh miss. Boleh miss. Boleh miss. Boleh miss. Soalan berapa yang kamu paling banyak problem ni? Paling question 2 miss. Kamu. Question 2. Okay. Soalan 2. Okay. Alright, so question 2. We have an incline. Incline plane. Lepas tu kita ada one block. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Inilah. Si kamu boleh cari angle kan? Okay. So... Uh, the question, dia just bagi kita Dia punya height of the inclined plane as well the displacement of the block. So, this is 12 meter, this is 18 meter. Okay, lepas tu kita tidak ada value of theta. 
which is here lah. Okay. So if we see this, we can actually find the angle using trigonometry. Masih ingat trigonometry? Sine, cos, tangent. Ingat, ingat. So, 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 eh, bukan so, ta. so, to, acha. Itu kah? So, cha, to, acha. kamu hafal macam mana. Okay, so kita boleh cari theta equal to opposite hypotenuse. So kita guna apa tu? Sine ka, cos ka, tangent. Sine. 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 Bu message message dia di group. Sine. Sine. Sine na. Okay, so kita guna sine. Sin theta equal to opposite over. Okay, why is this black? I don't want black. Kita guna pink. Equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so theta kita boleh cari kena shift sign. Opposite is 12 over 18 lah. So, the angle yang kamu sepatutnya dapat is 41.81 degree. Ada yang dapat cari ke angle? Time quiz? Syahira dapat ke? Dapat miss. Dapat miss. Oh, betul ba? Oh, isi. Ada juga lah yang dapat sampai cari angle. Nur Syahira oke okay kah tu? Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, so sekarang kita boleh guna Newton second law of motion. Kenapa kita mau guna Newton second law of motion? Sebab dia suruh kita cari Velocity. Okay, so velocity dia tu, this block is moving down. Dia, dia ke arah bawah. So it's going down. Okay. Okay, so kita perlu tahu dia akan ada acceleration lah. Sebab dia tidak cakap dia constant speed. So, we have to find the acceleration. So, total force at X is equal to MA. Tapi, apa yang Miss Lulu Pak mau buat ni? Free body diagram. Yes, good Faisal. Kita lupa buat free body diagram. So, first kita perlu buatlah free body diagram. So, kita akan guna inclined plane. So, assuming this is 90 degree. Boleh lah 90 degree. Okay, so this is our block. Now, we have to see what forces is being experienced by the block. Okay. So we know it has weight. So this and this ada weight. Lepas tu dia ada normal force. Apa lagi ada? Dia ni smooth plane ka rough plane? Rough, miss. Rough. Rough Dia punya fictional force ni pergi kanan ke pergi kiri? Kiri. 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 Okay. So, ini je ka? Habis sudah kita punya free body diagram. Ada lagi ka forces yang tertinggal? This theta, eh. 
is this is mg if it's moving so it is kinetic friction this is the normal force okay so that is the free body diagram for this question so now we can double a continue la solve this question and um Okay, so sekarang ni kita punya x axis is this component. I mean this plane. This is our y axis. Okay. So sekarang kita tengok untuk x component. Okay. Cepat. Bila ada acceleration. Remember, we have to follow any forces yang follow the direction of the acceleration. It will be positive, okay? Okay, so ingat that one. So sekarang ni mg sin theta is positive sebab kalau kita resolve ini ke x axis, dia akan berada di so this is parallel to the direction of acceleration. Okay, so uh, the frictional force pula against the acceleration. So Fk, so that is the only forces on the x component. We can then let this equal to Ma. Okay, so now this is Mg sine theta minus mu k n equal to M A. Okay. The past two, we now do not have the value of normal force. So the value of N, kita perlu cari guna Y component lah. So total force at Y equal to zero. Untuk Y component, we don't have to consider this based on the acceleration anymore. So but there is no acceleration this is too. So, kita akan guna the sign convention yang ke atas dan to the right is positive. To the left and below should be negative. So, kita akan stick to this, eh, to that sign convention lah. Okay, so N is positive because it is going up. And then minus Mg cos theta sebab Mg is pointing downwards. So, this is equal to 0. Lepas tu, we can then let N is equal to Mg cos theta. Okay. So, this is uh, your first equation. This is your second equation. So, now we can substitute 2 into 1. Okay. So, mg sine theta minus mu k, mg cos theta equal to ma. Sekarang ni kita perlu cari value of acceleration lah. Sebab you have to find the velocity. The final speed time dia turun the block. So, sekarang pula soalan pula tidak bagi kita the value of Mass. So, kalau kita tengok, actually we can cancel out the M, the equation yang ini. Okay. Boleh faham kan kenapa boleh cancel? Kalau tidak boleh. Boleh faham kan? Boleh miss, boleh. Yeah, boleh. Boleh, miss, boleh. Yes. Miss, bawa, bawa. boleh miss. Boleh miss. Kamu lupa net. Okay, so accelerate. Uh, yeah. So acceleration is then equal to g sine theta minus mu k cos theta. Okay. So g is nine point eight one sine forty one point. 81 minus 0 0.19 9.81 cos 41.81 
Okay, so masuklah dalam calculator. Then you get the acceleration to be equal to 5.15 meter per second square. Okay. Lepas tu macam mana pula mau cari velocity? Dia cakap dia turun down the inclined plane until to the bottom of the plane. So, what we can use is formula chapter 2 which is V square U square plus 2 A S. Okay. So, sekarang ni dalam soalan dia sudah mention the block starts from rest. So, U is equal to 0 meter per second lah. Okay, and then the displacement pula, the value of S is 18 meter lah. Kenapa? Sebab starting from here, the block has go down up till 18 meter saja, And then this edge ni, they stop ngam ngam di sini. Okay, that's why dia kita guna 18 meter. Kenapa si Akil ni blur kah kau? Kenapa miss? Kau begini gini? Tidak. <laughs> pening ke miss? Pening. Pening. pening kah? Mana satu kau pening? Dia pening ke miss? Ya, miss. Oh dia pening. Ish. Sakit, sakit sah. Itu yang dia tiba-tiba ketawa tu miss. Aduh. Ba, V square U square plus 2 AS. So V square yang kita cari 0 plus 2 5.15 as there is 18. Then you should be getting velocity to be equal to 13.6 meter per second. Okay boleh. Boleh miss. Boleh miss. Boleh miss. Ya, okay, ah. simple. Boleh lah miss. Boleh lah. Aduh, macam mana tu boleh lah. Buat lah. Boleh miss, boleh miss. Banyak boleh. practice. Okay kan. Okay, question 3, question 3. Lagi awal kita habis, lagi awal kita boleh stop. Okay, number 3. Number 3. Number three, soalan dia, a man drags a 23 kilogram suitcase. So, kita ada mass 23 kilogram. Lepas tu, dia sudah bagi tau uh, 45 newton force. So, kita bolehlah letak force as 45 newton. Lepas tu, it is moving at constant speed. Constant speed means acceleration is equal to zero. Okay. Lepas tu, dia bagi lagi friction. Friction, frictional force. The frictional force, since it is moving, is kinetic lah. 18 Newton. With the help of a free body diagram, calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction between the suitcase and the floor. Okay, first we have to draw the free body diagram lah. Okay. Let's draw the free body diagram. Oh, before that I have to draw the axis lah. So this one, dia punya... Uh, free body diagram is still on the ground. Nah? Mana tau kamu tu lukis dia incline. Okay, so ini eh, y-axis. Okay. Um, so this one is the luggage. Luggage, luggage. And then you have to draw the forces. Okay, so the forces, obviously, it's not massless, so it has weight. Weight. And then, they check up the other friction. And then, the luggage is being dragged to the right, meaning kita punya frictional force is going to the left. 
uh what else the jack it is being pulled at an angle so the force here is at an angle and then the tire i mean the suitcase and is in contact with the floor so the other normal force okay so itu sahaja ini This is mg, this is force, this is normal force, this is the frictional force. Okay, okay. Now we can do, we can solve this. So total force at x is equal to zero. Okay, sebab acceleration is equal to zero. Kenapa pula acceleration is equal to zero? Sebab dia cakap, it is moving at a constant speed. Constant speed acceleration equal to zero. Okay. Okay. So now F cos theta minus Fk equal to zero. Okay. So kalau acceleration is equal to zero, still ikut sign convention yang to the right is positive lah. Okay. Okay. Lepas so we do have all these values so what we can do is actually we can find the angle theta okay that's why derang tidak bagi dalam soalan sebab kita boleh cari okay so cos theta is fk over f so theta is actually shift cos f k over f okay so shift cos f k is 18 over 45 then you'd get the angle equal to 66.42 degree okay pas tu kita perlu cari mu k kan and we know that mu can only be found by using this equation lah this formula okay tapi sekarang ni kita tiada value of the normal force so what we have to do is we have to find lah the n so the n value can be calculated using the y component is total force at y equal to zero so n minus wait n lepas tu f lagi so n plus f sine theta minus mg equal to zero okay so n is just mg minus f sine theta so mu k is mg minus f sine theta over this is the value of f k lah. Okay, so mu k is m de berapa m twenty three nine point eight one minus forty five sine sixty. 66.42 or there this is 18 so dapatlah coefficient of kinetic friction there as 0 0.098 okay boleh kak question 3 dapat miss dapat dapat miss, ah. dapat miss. bagus 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 kamu ni okay soalan question 3 Okay, let's continue question four lah. Okay, so question four. 
apa soalan question four? Figure five shows a forty kilogram cupboard pulled up along a rough inclined plane thirty degree by a light rope. The cupboard moves at constant velocity. So the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.5. Draw a free body diagram and then determine the frictional force as well as the tension. Yang value of F di dalam tu diagram is the tension lah maksud dia, okay? Sebab dia cakap dia being pulled up. Okay, so first mass dia is 40 kilogram. And then dia bagi kita mu equal to 0 0.50. 0. Uh, and then constant velocity, so acceleration is equal to 0. Siapa yang jawab 25 degree, kamu just substitute yang 30 tu jadi 25 degree lah. Okay, so but then I'll be using uh, uh, 30 degree. Okay, so let's draw. Last question, draw kan? Okay. This is our inclined plane. And then this is 90 degree. So we have the weight. The pass two, since it is being pulled here, the frictional force will be go against the motion. And then there is a normal force. Uh, itu jaka. Yes, that's it. This is our theta. Okay, this is mg, this is the tension, they are equal to tension, dela. so this is the normal force, this is the frictional force. Okay, sekarang bolehlah kita solve total force E, no. Total force at x should be equal to zero. Sebab constant velocity. So, sekarang F minus F minus mg sine theta is equal to zero. Okay. So, this is F. Minus mu k n minus m g sine theta equal to zero. So this is our first equation. Okay. And then for y component pula. So this is just n minus m g cos theta. mg cos theta. So this is our question, equation 2. Equation. So then let's substitute 2 into 1. This one, kita cari the value of tension dulu lah, which is F dulu lah. Okay, so F minus mu k mg cos theta minus mg sine theta equal to zero. Okay, so the f it's just mu k mg cos theta plus mg sine theta. Okay, so substitute lah, 0.5. 40, 9.81, cos 30 degree, 
plus 40, 9.81, sine 30 degree. Kalau kamu guna 25, just write 25 here lah. So 25, 25. Okay, so you should be getting the tension to be equal to 366.11 Newton. Okay. The past two frictional force, just use UKN. So this is 0.5. N is mg cos theta. So 0 0.5 49.81 cos 30 degree. So the frictional force is then equal to 169.91 Newton. Okay. So, habis pula discussion kita. Ada soalan? Everything okay? Okay, then Mr. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay lah kan. So, chapter 4 boleh score kat chapter 4? 70, 30. Jauh lah ni. Boleh betul. Boleh lah, Miss. Boleh, boleh. Memang Tanya boleh. sama Akil, Miss. Dia boleh tu. <laughs> Dia faham lah siapa kamu ni. Okay. Ada soalan kah? Tiada, Miss. Tiada. Akil mungkin ada. Aduh. Si Akil lagi. Dia keluar sana. Tidur sana dia. Suai mi okay, suai mi. Okay, Miss. Mm. Fiona, okay? Okay, Miss. Okay. So, kalau ada apa-apa soalan, tanya jalan Miss, ah. Di telegram lah. So, Miss try to reply as soon as possible. Uh, kamu punya practical test kamu re eh practical test kamu punya experiment next week eh this week okay ka sudah ready semua bahan sudah okay. ready sudah bagus belum. bagus yes belum itu lagi ha? kalau buat itu eksperimen right now boleh ka tu mm, right now Buat je lah suka hati kamu bilang buat Okay Yang penting ada submission of lab report lah Ada suka kasih Erwin Ada yang cirit miss <laughs> Chong Wei Hao okay ka? To the rest one. Kairul? Boleh, Miss. Okay. Siapa yang langsung panggil-panggil ni? Jaslyn? Okay. So make sure today, tonight, I mean tonight, kamu buat UP, pre-UPS lah. Boleh kah? Itu kamu buat anytime, uh, I'll give you a Google form lah. So macam kiranya after kamu jawab tu, kamu boleh revise sendiri sebab the answers uh, Miss terus kasih bagi. So kamu dapat box dia lah terus. Oke, okay, kalau ada soalan, tanya nantilah. Oke, okay, bye-bye.
Bye, Miss. Bye, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Bye, Miss. Thank you, Kill. Thank you.